Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, your wicked chef. If it's your first time here watching me on YouTube, check out the channel. A whole bunch of recipes, authentic, from the Caribbean. Sometimes I may play around with some recipes as well. You're going to love the little fusion something too. Today, look what I've got here. I've got me a can of Guinness Giraffe. Can only mean one thing, Guinness Punch. This year drink, wicked for days. Ladies, Valentine's Day is coming up. Make this one for that favorite, that special guy in your life. He's gonna love it, and trust me, you're gonna love it too. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Let's do a wicked Guinness Punch. The ingredients are as follows. I've got one cup of milk here. You can use whole milk, 2%, whatever you got in the fridge. One cup of milk. Look at my whole bottle of Angostura bitters. You're gonna need a couple drops of this Angostura bitters. Over here, a pinch of nutmeg and a pinch of cinnamon. It's gonna give this a lovely little bouquet something. Got some ice, about one cup of ice. Over on this side here, we've got one cup of evaporated milk. Star of the show, Guinness. I've got one can of Guinness, and it says that this is 500 mLs. Up front, the final ingredient we'll be using today, sweetened condensed milk. Here I've got four heaping tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. After you blend this, and yes, you will need a blender for this. After you put this together, you can taste it, and you want that rich, creamy uh, taste with that nice, bold taste of the Guinness in the background. So you may need to add a little bit more of this condensed milk if you like. Optional ingredients. Uh, you can uh, certainly add um, a raw egg in here if you want, but I don't do raw eggs. It's not my thing, so I really don't do the raw eggs thing. Um, you can use some cocoa powder. Um, I mean, you can flavor it with, with additional things like a vanilla or anything else you like, but these are the ingredients here we'll be using today. Just about everything is going to go into the blender. So in goes that ice. I'm using 2% milk, so one cup of that milk. I've got that lovely nutmeg and the cinnamon. Bring out Mr. Angostura bitters. Bam, bam, give him a nice little generous drip, drip up in there. Ooh, don't sound to smell nice, you know? In goes that evaporated milk. Just gonna scrape in all that lovely condensed milk in there now. As a kid, I used to get in trouble for condensed milk whenever my mom had this in the fridge. Boy, myself and my brother would always lick all the woman condensed milk. Trouble for these. That's already in the blender. So up next now, I've got Mr. Guinness. And we're just going to pour in that lovely Guinness inside there. You can certainly put more ice if you want. And looking at the amount of liquid that I've got here, I know for sure, and just that's just my preference, I'm going to need some more condensed milk. But after we blend it up, you can taste it and add more condensed milk if you want. So all I did was, I pretty much blend this until the ice, and you can certainly add more ice to this. Um, <clears throat> Blend it until it's nice and mixed, it's incorporated. That's what I have here. It took me about 30 seconds or so in the blender. This drink is done. Couple of tips I wanna give you guys, and I learned from my mistake. I use the Guinness Draft, and that's gonna be pretty frothy. It's gonna have a tendency to overflow as you blend it. So what you wanna do is try to get a Guinness in the bottle, the Guinness in the bottle, the one in the can here with that sort of widget causes some problems for me. The other thing is you want to double up on that condensed milk that I said earlier. I said four tablespoons. Uh -uh. You need at least eight tablespoons of that um, to make this nice and creamy and that sweet undertone that we're talking about. I'm just going to pour this out and show you guys how it's going to look. So here we go, yo. Just going to pour that bad boy into my glass here. Nice and creamy. You're gonna love this Guinness punch. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, ladies. Valentine's Day, trust me. Make this Guinness punch. You're gonna have some nice times. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. By the way, this is a drink for big people, huh? We're using Guinness with alcohol in it, so little kids, stay away. 
You can also put this into making ice cream as well. And this would be a nice base for an ice cream. Guinness ice cream. Maybe in the summertime I'll show you guys how to do that. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Give this recipe a try. It's a lovely, refreshing, good for your back kind of drink.